Hello, Talent Souls. Happy day, happy week, happy life. Tarot deck <laughs> collections, the black edition. Okay, episode two. Welcome. If you are new, welcome back. Or, oh, you know, welcome and welcome back. <laughs> I am Luna. Maybe you're just checking this video. And I focus on igniting your talent for you to ignite the world. I'm showcasing all my decks. This is the black decks. And as you can see, there are far more than my colorful decks. So there are more black decks out there than colorful decks. But that doesn't mean that these ones are not colorful inside. But there is a lot of trend in getting, you know, let's say black theme tarot decks. Okay, let's go for it. It will be kind of long, but anyway, I it will be what it will be. <laughs> okay, I'm going to separate a little bit, so I will pick it up all of them, and then we go uh, one by one. We put it some there so I can show you. Okay, the black decks. Oh, this one. The black decks. I like it. I mean, they're elegant. And there are some of them that have a high vibe. I will show you which ones are the high vibe. But in general, I prefer color. You know that. If you are with me for a while, you know that. This is, I'm going to put a candle in the middle. This is my first ever tarot deck. It is from, from Argentina. And this is the traditional. Oh, look at that. I didn't see that. Uh, the um, Riley. Uh, Riley. Oh. Riley. Ryler Tarot, okay? You know this, this is a classic now. Oh, look at this. Look at that. I'm going to leave that there. Look at that, eh? It's one of my favorites, of course. It's my first ever Tarot deck. Before I was doing this, I mean, I would say that this is from, ah no, I bought it in Spain, I'm incorrect. And I bought it probably in 2001, 2002. 2001, 2002. So this deck has definitely 20 years. 20 years with me. And I think there is one card that is missing. I think I lost one card. Um, but I don't remember which one. But I still use it. It doesn't matter. Okay. Well, it doesn't matter for me because it's my original one. Uh, this is the Botticelli Tarot. Okay. Obviously, the artist is Botticelli and it's very golden. Uh, and I show you one card. And I don't like when they don't have a very big box. I like big boxes, to be honest. Okay, but this is a very pretty tarot. I show you one card so you take an idea about uh, how it looks like. The Two of Cups. Look at that. It's beautiful, eh? I like, I like, I like it. I like it, but it's always give me the energy of um, someone that is traditional. So the energy of this deck. When I do personal reading, for example, also general readings, whatever, it's like of someone that uh, is very traditional, okay? Old-fashioned, traditional, more like elegant, you know what I mean. Okay, that's Botticelli. I'm going to put it outside so you know that we have done it. We put it there. Okay, this one was gifted. This is a gift. You never say no to a gift, okay? Uh, it's a beautiful deck and it's called, I don't use it that often. Why? Because I haven't seen it too much. When I see something too much on the channels, I don't use it. I don't know, don't ask me why. This is the Tarot of the Wild Unknown by Kim Kranz. It's very well packed. I like the pack, definitely. And I show you one card, uh, Eight of Cups. You see, it's all like uh, this, this style. The wheel of the world, sorry, it looks like the wheel of fortune and temperance. That's a beautiful card. That's a beautiful card. It's very pretty, but it's not my my style too much of art. So I don't use it that much. But I use it. I use it. Of, I use all of the decks, but that one that one is kind of, you know, I don't know. Well, it's not one of my favorites. The intuitive night, although it has been gifted, so I thank you so much for the, uh, you know, for the lovely lady that gave to me. She did a whole. She's a friend of Kino, and Kino connected with her with me, and she sent me this, and that was beautiful, beautiful. Uh, the intuitive night goddess tarot. This is my Indian tarot. If you want to connect with India, this is the tarot. Look at the Empress jump up. 
all very Indian theme. Three of Wands. Those two, look, three, three. Gorgeous, no? It's a beautiful energy, very abundant, okay? And it's, it's, it's my Indian tarot. I connect with India when I use this tarot. This is my favorite. The Dreamy Moon Tarot by Annie Tarasova. She lives in Australia. This is a black tarot deck that I love. Why? Because it has all the golden, the glittering as well. And it's beautiful back. Look at this. This is beautiful, no? The dreamy moons. This is gorgeous. She has message everywhere. Abundance is my birthright. I evolve and grow. I trust the divine plan and go with the life flow. My heart is healed and open. I'm present in each moment. Key messages. And I show you one, but you have seen this one. Look at that. Look at the golden. This is my favorite tarot, eh? The chariot, of course. If I'm telling you you're my favorite, you come fiercely towards me. <laughs> and at the bottom, two of cups again. Oh, wow. You see? I love this deck. I love it. I, I love it. I love it. He lo the deck loves me. That's why we have the two of cups. The deck loves me. Okay, this is this is gorgeous. The moon power data. This, I connect with this deck with... Uh, star seeds, aliens. You know, this is my alien deck. You see, Ace of Source. That's the truth. This deck connects with the star seed and alien energy. It's all like you know, the eight of eight of ones. Look at that, fast, fast energy. It's like alien. I mean, it's, it's the energy from another planet. I don't know. It's like very cool, very cool deck. It's one of my favorite too. Okay, but this is my favorite. <laughs> well, so far, you know, this, this, this two plus this one. Okay, I choose this and the Dreamy Moons as the main, but well, of course, we were going to finish and then I show you. You know what happened the other day? My dog grabbed the two of cups. I almost collapsed. <laughs> Look at the beautiful uh, book. She is a tarot, eh, sorry, a tattoo artist. And she crafted this deck with her way, the way that she tattoo things. Look at this. Eh? One of my favorite cards, oh, look at the kind of ones. They're all, let's say, gorgeous, gorgeous. This is, look at the magic, eh? you see? It's high vibe, high vibe, high vibe, high vibe. This deck, my favorite. My favorite. I have only one tattoo, and is you know, imagine what it is. It is the moon and the sun together. My tattoo is the moon and the sun. Okay, talking about the sun, this is the Soleil Tarot. I never use it. I use it very, very few times. <coughs> Why? Because I'm, I don't connect that much with this design. The design of this is just very plain, okay? So it's, okay, don't get me wrong, it's a beautiful design. <coughs> oh my God, I need water. It's a beautiful design, but it's very plain for me. It's one color. Oh, this should not be here. This is a surprise. I silence my mind and listen intently. Oh, this should not be here. It's from a different deck. Okay, so what I'm trying to tell you is that, look, the Ace of Wands is gorgeous. No, it's a gorgeous design. Nine of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. Beautiful cards, no? High vibe. But it's not my style, just one color. I'm a color person. I need colors. I need colors. I need variety of colors. You know? That's why I don't I don't connect that much. The handman. You see? I need colors. But it's gorgeous. I mean, it's very expensive deck also as well. Very expensive. Um, so that's another one. The Crow Tarot, I love it. It's my witch black tarot. This is for witches, okay? This is energy of the witches because of the crown, okay? The crow. And uh, it's super cool. Super well done. Great artist. Uh, MJ, Kuline. This is beautiful. I cannot wait for more decks from this person. Look, high vibes as well. The food. Look at that. All, all, all crows, no? You have seen me there. 
Three of Swords. Look at this. It's gorgeous. The sun. Look at that. Oh. I love this deck. It's very earthy and very witchery. Very witchery. Okay. This one I use as an add-on because it's very, I mean, it's, it's very unique. This is like uh, the Women in Science Tarot. Only when I connect with this energy. The energy of people that is, uh, you know, science or I need to highlight a specific uh, skill or a specific talent. This is not a deck that I will use like a main deck. Okay. For example, the Hermit. Well, that's a good card. The Strength. But, you know, they're all women, which is very nice because I learn a lot. You know, all women. The devil, no. Except the Major Arcanas. Hmm? Uh, so it's special when you want to highlight a skill or you want to understand some specific talent. But it's not a deck that I use as a, like... Hmm? Okay. This is one of my favorites, the Naked Heart Tarot. You have seen me using many times. This is Gillian Wilde. The Emperor, Skyfather. Look at that. This is this is this is pure art for me. Mo uh, the Knight of Swords. This is art. This is she is gosh. Look the sun. Look at that. It's animals. I mean, this is special. It's an special deck because she's an special author. Now she's uh, getting another one out in the market. I'm going to buy it 100%. It's gorgeous. The next one is gorgeous. For me, this is like a heaven and earth. It's a very good balance between heaven and earth. This deck. Tarot of the Divine. Joshi, uh, Joshi Honey. This is uh, very Asian. This is also, well, an Asian author. So it's... Uh, it kind of connect me with that energy from uh, Asia, no? The King of Cups. Look at that. Look like, uh, you know, the dragons, the Chinese, China, Japan, uh, you know, Ace of Coins. Although this is kind of African. I don't know. It has a, com it's, it's a multicultural. It's multicultural, but of course they have far more uh, Asian uh, symbols than any other deck. It's gorgeous. This one I use it a lot because it has a lot of... Uh, symbolism, a lot of symbolism, the Tarot of the Divine. Then, of course, Semper Fire, this is hot. She is hot. This is the author of She, she Wolf Tarot, and this is the Semper Fire Tarot. She has, obviously, root with Egypt. Uh, root, she's very fire energy. So this is a deck that connects with fire, for me, with fire, with uh, Egypt, and with uh, feminine energy, like no others. Okay? i show you. The star, and I have to cover because it's all naked. The emperor, the star, look at that. She is mega creative and temperance. You see? All martial arcana, queen of pentacles. Yes. High vibe, high vibe, high vibes, high vibes. A gorgeous deck. Also very colorful, you know what I mean? So I like the ones that has a lot of colors inside. This is the Monday Tarot, the Mystic Monday Tarot. Because I have seen it so much, I don't use it that much. Because if I see it, it's kind of, you know, I get the repetitive energy and I, I don't like it. So, but it's very pretty. It's very pretty, but it's, it's more like uh, towards the less less design, no? So the Queen of Wands, okay? it's more plain in the sense of, you know, Eight of Pentacles. I mean, it's gorgeous. Don't get me wrong. It's very colorful as well. But it's not my style of art, maybe. The devil. It's very girly as well. well. Queen of Wands all the time. Yeah. This is good for artists, for example. If you are Ace of Pentacles, look at that. Creative energy. It's very pretty. It's very pretty, very colorful. I like it. Not my favorite, but I like it. This I got it in Miami is the Black Tarot by Victoria Iva. This is unique. This is a Black Tarot deck that I connect because it's all black. But the artist, the art here is, I mean, how to recognize is pretty amazing. And also look at look at the quality of um, 
Look, I have here the Ace of Swords. Look at how black it is. It's very black. You know what I mean? It's very black. It's a black tarot, obviously. But I show you the the the, the, call, the design because it's up there. The Six of Wands. Look at that. Look at that. You see? It's pure art. Great artist. I love it. Look at this. The star again. You see? All my decks are very high vibe, as you can see. No? I pick up a lot of the time Major Arcanas. <laughs> Major Arcanas and, uh, you know, very high wide cars. Six of Wands and this stuff. You see? This is an, a special deck, okay? Not for all the time. This is a deck for a special readings, okay? This is a deck for a special readings. It's an, a special location reading for me. The Black Tarot. And the last one I have here uh, from the Black uh, Tarot decks, okay? And I still I have, I probably have one more video for Tarot decks. And then I can go to the oracles. Yeah. It's the Dream Weaver Tarot. These are Polaroid pictures with some design. It's very cute. The Page of Blades. You see? It's a Polaroid picture. And then it's a design on top. And I'll show you another. The Six of Cups. No, sorry. The Nine of Cups. The Witch Fulfill. Look at it. Yeah, it's very pretty. It's nature. It's pictures. The Handman. There's a temple there, a bridge. This is a vampire. I like it. You see? It's, it's very pretty. Not my favorite 100%, but it's very, very pretty. Okay. I think I show you all the black decks. I hope I don't have anyone missing down there. Okay? No. I don't have it. These are my black deck collections. If we have to tell you what which ones is my absolute favorite. Okay? So is the Tattoo Tarot, the Dreamy Moon Tarot, I mean, for, for my own personal reading, and the Naked Heart. These three, I will always pick three, okay? Because otherwise you will say, hey, Luna has too many favorites, no? I mean, there, this one I love. I mean, I told you, no? I told you which ones I love. But I have to pick up the absolute favorite, the absolute that represent my energy, are these three. The tattoo, the naked heart, and the dreamy moons. These are my favorites. Tell me which ones are yours. And if you enjoy the video, please subscribe, comment, share, like. And if you're one of my subscribers that always ask for this video, please comment which is your favorite deck. Tell me more. And if you want me to keep doing this, I obviously I don't have that many uh, viewers uh, compared to my normal uh, videos, but I appreciate the comments, I appreciate the likes, and no matter how many you are, I will finish this uh, series, okay? Just trust, I will finish. <laughs> Love you, have an amazing day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.